Hey, Dave Ryder here. I'm with Total Integrated Therapy and I'm a breakthrough mindset coach. And I help people just like you break through old, destructive, negative, toxic mindsets so they can make a bigger difference in their field and their life and achieve greater success, be more productive at home and their work environment, and live a happier, healthier, more satisfying life. So how would you like to be able to get out of a rut faster and feel supported when you need it the most? I'm here to shed a little bit of light on discouraging, self-limiting beliefs. What we think about a situation has a direct impact on how we feel and also on the actions that or what we do about it. And when we're feeling down, we, we, we want to be able to get better results, right? To turn it around, to avoid feeling like we're kicked when we're down. Why is this important? Because it's human. We all get in slumps. We have ups and downs, especially when we're growing and learning. We need self-understanding, perspective, and support. Instead, sometimes we make it hard. So how do we make things hard? Well, let me share a case study that I had last week. I was working with a client and his symptoms, he was having GI tract issues, stress, fears, work distractions, things like that. He was struggling with living at home with his ex-wife because they had children together and working with many distractions and procrastination a lot in the office. Um, so describing living with his ex-wife at home, he said it was like it's like being in a prison. Now that doesn't sound very gratifying, satisfying, or productive, right? So he also describes work like it feels like he's being pulled away from doing the things that he wants to do, that he doesn't want to deal with. All right, and that sounds familiar too. That's a that's a common theme from home and work. When I asked him about his fears, he said, I create the experience of fear because I don't believe that I can change or get out of the situation. How many times have you felt that way before? I know I have. In fact, I've had several relationships in the past where I felt like I couldn't get out of the situation. So these beliefs can limit our options. They limit the actions we take, how we feel, and of course the results we get, and then they reinforce those limiting beliefs that kept us stuck in the first place. We make things hard or easy. But what if you say it's easier said than done? And you know what? I've said that myself many times before. It is easier said than done. Absolutely right. But living with someone that blames you for how they feel and what they do and their misery and suffering in their, their life can be very confusing and very discouraging and it can be a really negative, toxic environment. What I discovered was that it comes down to this that it is only difficult to do if you believe that it is difficult to do. That when I make it easy, it is. So here's my suggestion to you. Believe that you can do it, that it is easy and it will be, and you'll, you'll take more action, feel better, and you'll discover that getting results is easier than you thought. Believing it is easy is the hard part, however, just like with everything else in life. If you do just the easy stuff, life gets hard. But if you do just the hard stuff, actually, you don't have to do just the hard stuff, but if you do the hard stuff, life tends to get easy. So Dave Ryder here. Thanks for watching. And remember to address those negative beliefs and thoughts and make thing, that make things hard and make it easy, and it will be. Thanks for watching again.